you already know my story, but yeah. I'm still going to tell it. You Go tell it. it. Because you tell it. God has done so much. He loves you so much. I found a paper yesterday that they had given me the last time I was at the doctor's office. And there were 12 diagnoses written on this paper. For me. 12 different things. And I was sitting there and I was reading them to Hank last night. I said, look at that. I said, I didn't even know there was that much wrong with you, you know. <laughs> but the Lord is making me better. I am getting better all the time. One of these days, I'm going to run around this church again. Come on. One of these days. <laughs> Sister Betty, five weeks ago, I was taking 110 units of insulin in the morning and in the evening. This week, I'm taking 44 units of insulin. My God. Watching what I've been eating, I've been not eating salt. I've been doing what they've been telling me for 40 years, which I never did before. And I'm telling all of you now, do something about your health now, and you you'll feel so much better mentally, physically, uh, spiritually. You'll feel better. The Lord has been so good to me. I can't tell it enough. I I mean I can't do as much as I used to. But one of these days, I'm going to. Yes, I really Lord. believe that. Yes, I'm Lord. still yes. trusting yes, the Lord yes. to do a complete work in me. Yes. And I appreciate it so much. A year ago, I used my illness as an excuse not to come to church. Because I felt so bad, and I didn't want to go, and I didn't want to get cleaned up. And oh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we all use it from time to time, whether you admit it or not, we do. <laughs> But something got a hold of me. And we are God. Just like that song oh, yeah. I went there that night, but oh my. I went there to fight, but oh my, God, oh, my night, something got a hold of me. I began to say, Lord, there's got to be more than me just sitting here and waiting to die. Amen. And I believe he helped me. Come on. Come on. The biggest thing that he's helped me with is my attitude about the church. Come on, Jesus. Man. I, all I could dwell on for two or three years was the negative in the church. My God. And my kids had gone out of the church. Yeah. And all this and all that and all this. And every yeah. time somebody did something, I was such a judgmental person. Yeah. And I'm trying and trying and trying not to be that way anymore. <laughs> and I'm saying, Lord, help me. Right. When, I, when I see something that, well. you know how it was that one? Well, I mean, I'm saying, oh, Lord, I want to feel that way. Lord, help me to love them more. Amen. And you know what? It works. It works. Oh, yeah. oh, it's not me because that's not in me. I'm such a criticizing person. But God in me is doing a work, and I appreciate that more than anything, more than physical healing. I appreciate him healing my heart, healing my natural heart. Yes, he's doing that a lot of time. But healing my attitude and yeah. showing me how rotten I was. You know, we sit here for so many years and we think, well, we're doing pretty good. You know, I love the Lord. I'm faithful. And yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's all well and good. But we've still got things that he's dealing with us about. We've still got things he's dealing with us about. And time is getting closer. This week surely showed us that the Lord is getting ready to wrap this thing up. I mean, it just, it made me think, oh, Lord, I want my family back home. we got to pray these people back home. You know, Hank and I were sitting there last night saying, just think of all the people that have come through these doors and walked out of these doors. If just half of them came back, there wouldn't be enough room for them. But God has a plan, and I really believe he's going to depend. He is depending on us. To pray and pray and pray Amen. and pray to bring these folks home Amen. and help us to be ready to receive them Amen. in love. Amen. And I appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. I love what He's doing in my life. I love what the Lord's doing in my church. I love it. I love Him. Hallelujah.